niggas would say you'll be like, oh, you want to be? Boom. Exactly. Hey, right, give me the money. The two, the two things that separate me from a lot of producers out here, yeah. and I'm going to say the niggas out here, and we already know it ain't that many. So what separates you from other producers? <laughs> so what, what separates me from the ones out here, I'm not reselling no beats. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I'll tell it to whoever these niggas are, because I ain't going to say the names. I'll yes. figure that. So and so beats. You can't have that. Yeah, one. you know what I'm yeah. saying? I didn't have a couple niggas that say, man, that nigga sold me the same beat. That nigga sold me this beat that he sold to this nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, that's one thing that separates me from the rest. Because yeah. once you get your beat, you like it, you fuck with it, you want the broke down, yeah, you don't, nah, you, ain't, you ain't worried about it, okay, it's getting deleted. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't have a beat no more, and you better not lose that one because you don't have a beat no more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's one thing. Now, the other thing that separates me from the rest of these producers out here, I like to cater to the artist. You know what mm. I'm saying? So if, if that's artist, important, yeah. If he yeah. got a certain style, certain swag that he do, then I want to put that in the beat. You know what I'm saying? I want to make it where he ain't got to do too much of pushing himself in the beat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So facts. That's like really two things that separates me from a lot of producers out here. So what do uh what do you feel like a lot of producers make mistakes at since you feel like what if you already talked about what separates you, what do you feel like they a lot of producers make mistakes other than like reselling beats? Like what's some other things? They don't they don't know how to find their sound. Okay. That's see, that's a good answer. That's a good answer. I like that. You know what I'm saying? They don't know how to find their sound. That's one thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because with producing, you have to have a sound. Just like Metro Bowman. Yeah. Just like Mike Will made it. Yeah. Just like any other producer. You know what I'm saying? Even Drummer Boy. Like, you have to have a specific sound that people, as soon as they hit it, they're like, okay, boom. That's who such a. Like, even if you don't put a tag in it, they know who they it know is. They know Timberland yeah. did it for you. Exactly. You know, he you had no tag. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. Yeah. He never had a tag. They like, 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 beats. You know what I'm saying? Manny Fresh, he was one of them. He didn't have no tag. Nope. But they knew Manny Fresh. They knew his. You know what I'm saying? They knew his shit. Yeah. Now, I oh, we, know, we, we know a Manny Fresh beat from anywhere. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but the thing is, another, really, really, really another thing is, another thing is with the producer out here, that, or just any producer, you have to, like I said, you have to know your sound and the quality of your instruments really, 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 really do matter. If you don't have good quality on it, the instruments just off the jump without yeah. any EQ or compression and all that, then you don't really have any good beats. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, the next thing is the EQ and compression, the mastering, you know what I'm saying? The whole nine yards to make it presentable. Because if yeah. you don't have it where it's presentable, then who gonna wanna buy it? Nobody. Who gonna wanna listen to it? You know what I'm saying? They give you 30 seconds. Oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of niggas in the industry. We were just talking about that the other seconds. day. You got about 15 to 30 seconds yeah. to win somebody over. Nobody yeah. really gonna listen to your whole song. At all. As far as like industry, execs, AR, attention span. Yeah. Yeah, the attention span is, is very really short. short. Yeah. They have to catch them off the jump. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So, so, uh, so with all that being said, man, what, what, who is your, some of your favorite producers out there as far as just in general? It don't even have to be in the industry, like just some, some of your favorite producers. Well, off the jump, off the jump, say to Oh, you got me. You got you my, my nigga. Zaytoven. Uh, like this, I'm saying. My Zay nigga. Zaytoven. I fuck with Zay. Zaytoven on them keys. Oh, that shit is lethal. Ooh. It's a lethal injection. It's like. You're like, what the hell? But the thing that gets me, and that's what I really get my style from, and like is him, and the thing that really gets me that I use in my shit is the organs. Yeah, uh, the organs. Oh, is so sad, organs oh, started in the church, the <laughs> church house. Man, <laughs> the organs be so live, man. Yeah, <laughs> that nigga Zay told me is a monster. I ain't gonna lie, I feel yeah. Zay told me. Yeah. Just that, that whole future, when Future dropped that, just like Brothers and that whole mixtape, Beast Mode mixtape, mm -hmm. 
I like I was I almost I got used to this. I still shit. yeah. Well, now now it's, it's it's killing and it's gonna be. Killing I know. Yep. I I'm still it's listening nice to it. Yep. Like two years yep. later, that Beast Mode mixtape was was a force to be reckoned with. Cause it's 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 Zay Tobin and Southside and it's new future at the moment. It ain't no old shit, you know for a fact. Like that is what he's feeling. That shit is a perfect marriage, you know what I'm saying? That goes back to what you were saying about the perfect beat for the artist. Yeah. Like, actually being specific about it, like, I'm not just going to sell you a general beat, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to find a beat or make a beat that I know that you would it would fit you. It would be the perfect marriage. Yeah. But yeah. throw some, uh, throw some other uh, producers man, out there. Man, really and truly, man. Metro, I, I like Metro. Metro yeah. cool, he cool, you know what I'm saying? And really, there ain't really too many other ones that I really can just Name some of your influences in music. Yeah, early, early. early. Besides, young young uh, FAT on the beat. Yeah. As a kid. I'm, I'm gonna put it like this. Like, I would've yeah, named, I would've like named. Producer, it's just artists, music in general. Yeah. Well, on the producer, I would've named this producer, but he kind of fell out to me, I ain't lying. And that's okay. uh, Miles on the track. You know what I'm saying? He, I don't know what, I guess he's trying to keep up with the era and he kind of fell off with the era. Yeah, Miles. Yeah. Miles was about to move to Lil Fat, Trill okay. Fam, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And his Miles on the track. Yeah. Hey, let me bring that back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he don't hear too much about taking that. Yeah, you're right. You know what because you I don't know, I don't know, I don't think that Louisiana music faded because it's still lit as far as Louisiana. It's always gonna be lit as far as that music. Yeah. There's gonna always be some bounce music, but yeah, yeah I, I kinda see what you're saying, like, but Mouse on the track, that's a shout out to you. Like, where you at, bro? We need you. I know you probably feeling bad because Lil Fat died, you know what I'm saying, and all that, but we need you to come back, man. So we're gonna take a shot. Shout out to uh, Miles from the Trap, man. Go ahead, throw some other ones out there. Man, Success. I, uh, like we Take said, you yeah, already Thursday. named a couple of them that, you know, Take when I started. Take shots on Thursday with Brandon Trey. We got more Sam live interview. What's good? Download the app. Download the app for sure. Download the app. But nah, the other one, the other two is going to have to be, like I already said, Mini Fresh and Timberland. You know what I'm saying? Them Timbo one. was a, Yeah, you know what I'm saying? True. And that's why I can't name neither one of them. Because, you know, me and I seen Mini doing this, doing some things. Yeah. I haven't seen Tim do anything. Name, what you three, your favorite, about, uh, name three favorite artists of yours, and not just rap. I ain't talking about just rap. Ooh. Like just in music in general, for you to make the beat. Man, let me see. Yo, yeah, yeah what is this only like a three favorite artists you would love to? A hot producer that's yeah. now. Like any other music that you listen to in any any genre. So basically, it's an artist that I, if I wanted to, or if I had the chance to make a beat for. Yeah, if you wanted to do that. Like that, man. I really don't know. Man. I, I, ain't gonna lie. I, I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I know one for sure. I know one for sure, though. One that I would really love to make a beat for, or just even work with in the studio. Who that? That's Chris Brown. CB. See, I don't care what Chris Breezy. I don't care what the other shit that he got going on in his life, but his that music ain't got is to do with you. man. Yeah, music is epic, man. Like, and like, that's what we was talking about earlier. Like, like uh, CB, you the truth, yeah. like. Really, with singing, you go with R&B artists, you know, that's what it is. Friend, that's where you vocal at. You know what I'm saying? CB, shout out to Chris Brown, too, man, because you can sing. You do live performances, you dance, nigga. You do all that shit. And yeah, I feel that. that what's, yeah. what's, what's two other, two other ones? Nah, that, that, that's, the, that's where the hard part come in. <laughs> we're we, we gonna go with the rappers. Let me think. Now on the rapper side, man, it's all right. Do one rapper though. One rapper. One rapper. One rapper. You gotta say you got an R and B artist. You gotta okay. say a I, rapper. And and what's the gonna be the third one? Just flex anything. Yeah. Just, I, I don't okay. On, on the rapper. rapper. On the rapper side. I think it has to be Gucci, man, because I've been fucking with Gucci. Gucci! Hold on, hold on. I gotta get Go two. On. I gotta get two rappers. I gotta get two. Right, so we're gonna do four. That's fine. So I gotta get you gotta two. So my my two. You gotta hide anything. My two. And I forgot about my nigga because he locked up right now. Okay. 
Okay. Kevin Gates. Kevin. I got him. Free fuck Gates. With Kevin Gates. I got him for the Gates. Free Gates. You know what I'm saying? Free Gates. But Gucci and Gates, my two Gucci. rappers. They, they gotta be the ones. Hey, I've been fucking both of them since they came out. And a lot you of niggas, don't know. Gucci is a legend. Now, I'm gonna tell you like this. With Gates, a lot of niggas be like, you know what I'm saying? When he came out, or yeah, I fuck with Gates love. Remember when Gates had them dreads? Dreads. They said dreads. Gates ain't never had no dreads. Yeah. You, you ain't, ain't no you, Diddy Frog. Yeah, you ain't been <laughs> fucking with him since he came out then. Nah.